Hey everybody, this is Jerry Cates and welcome to Weekend Wisdom. So tonight I want to talk about your inner voice, critic versus wisdom. But let's start a little, or talk a little bit about why I'm doing this. I want to make a difference. I, I really want to give you some useful information so that, that you can take your life to the next level. And I want you to think about what can you create in your life? What do you want? Um, do you know that you can have anything you want? Guaranteed. You can have it. Um, just need to get out of our way. And some of the tools I'll give you tonight or the insights will, will help. If you stay till the end, I have a free gift. So anyway, um, I call myself the Courage and Grace Coach, and I want to tell you why. Courage, because it's the strength to face adversity, emotional pain in the unknown. And grace, the spirit of freedom that arises from living in harmony with yourself. The Courage and Grace Coach. Okay. So, your, your, uh, wit, let's see, that inner voice, and you have all heard it. That inner voice that says, I can't do that. I'm not enough. I'm going to fail. Let's see if I can come up with some more. I'm alone. I'm bad. I'm crazy. I'm different. I'm not important. And it might not be the words that, that you're saying is I'm not enough or I'm, I'm, I'm not important, but the feelings or, oh, I can't do that. Or um, no one ever is there. No one's ever there for me. Or, you know, and, and that's like, I, I don't, I'm not enough. I'm not valued enough. So it might not be those specific words, but it's the feeling or I can't do anything right. I'm powerless. Um, I'm not safe. I'm afraid. Um, I'm not wanted. I'm worthless. All of those are, are it's a accumulation of all the negative things we've heard from our caregivers as a child and, and from ourselves, you know, because once we left the caregivers, we kept it up because our subconscious took it in and made that so, right? So some awareness about that inner critic and I had a therapist once who called it the uh, gatekeeper. And, and they're the ones that sit there. Imagine the gatekeepers on one shoulder. And they're the ones that are saying something negative all the time. Anything that comes up, it's always, well, you can't do that. Right? And then there's the wise friend on the other side. And here's a, here's a great example. I'm in nursing school. I'm in the fifth uh, or fourth or fifth semesters. And my self-esteem wasn't in a place where I thought I was going to be successful. I don't know how I made it so far. Um, being that hard on myself, but here I am. Anyway, um, it's the end of fourth semester, and I am freaking out. And I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna fail. And then all of this, these tumbling of things, the domino effect of I had special housing, I had special funding, that I was gonna lose everything. I'm gonna fail, and I'm freaking out. And then one of my classmates says to me, "Jerry, you do this every semester." Do the math. Do the math. So I did the math, and my GPA was around 3.5, which is pretty good. <laughs> but do you see how we do that? Um, and I'm sure you can think of a time in your life where you were really hard on yourself and you were freaking out. But if you had had a wise friend or that the wise friend's on the other shoulder that says, wait a minute, let's look at the big picture. What's the truth here? You know, that's not the reality, you know, or when I'm saying I'm not enough, what's my fear that I'm going to fail? Okay, what's the big reality that I had a good GPA and I didn't fail? So having that experience has been really powerful. Um, I took a class with Jennifer Grace last year and she had the voice of, um, let's see, the internal critic and the voice of wisdom. So the voice of criticism and the voice of wisdom. And that's a great tool. So start thinking about when you find yourself telling yourself something and it's usually you're getting worked up that you'll notice that they're just snowballing at you, right? And ask yourself, what's the truth here? Is that the truth? Or what am I feeling? A lot of times it's triggered by a feeling, uh, fear, doubt. And then What's the truth here? What would your wise friend say? Look at the big picture. You are more than enough. You can do this. You've done this before. So maybe it's like having somebody being, you know, on your team and looking out for you. But 
it's someone that you get to put inside of you so that you have them with you all the time. So just imagine you've got the gatekeeper, that negative gatekeeper, and they're the ones that says everything negative that you've ever heard. And then there's the wife's friend on the other shoulder. And he or she is the one that says this calm and says, okay, what's going on here? Let's look at the big picture. You are enough. You're more than enough. You've done this before. You can do this. You know, all of those things. That, and I'm sure you've played that role for others where you've shown up for others and you've been their champion, you know, or their, their you know, helped support them and said the things that they needed to hear to get them to the next level. So I'm inviting you to have that within yourself. You know, um, all those years of being told things when we were young, and it's not really our parents' fault because they were told things too, right? That's called a paradigm. And if you look back at um, the Law of Attraction uh, video that I did, and I'll do more on the paradigm, they're old patterns and habits. See, our subconscious is different than our conscious mind. Our conscious mind, um, well, let's put it this way, when you were a child, that conscious mind couldn't be the gatekeeper or couldn't be, you know, say, oh, that's not true. It just took it all in because we trusted our, our caregivers and we trusted authority and we trusted, you know, anyone in our life that was there for us. But it wasn't always the truth. It was their belief systems, their paradigms, you know, I can hear things in my head that my mother said to me that I know aren't true. I have to get the wise friend in there and say, now you know that's not true. You've proven that isn't true. You know, so it's an ongoing thing. So the subconscious just continues with it until we reprogram it, right? Um, okay, so reprogramming it. Tools to, first of all, recognizing it. And then tools to reprogram it. You know, your mind listens to your mouth. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I'm going to invite you to look at what you say to yourself. If you're saying, you know, generalizations like I can never get this right or people are always this way to me or I never can find a good man or a good woman or whatever it is, really take a look at what you're telling yourself because it does become a self-fulfilling prophecy and start taking a look at what do I want to experience and then make sure your words and thoughts are in alignment with what you want to experience. It's kind of like being on a trip with no destination. If we don't know where we're going, anything that comes up, we, we, we have, right? That's the old paradigm. But when I know where I'm going, when I know what sights I want to see, it's more, it's clear. It's, it, I get more out of it. I move further along. I hope that's a good example. Um, I wanted to share with you the, the link on here. Don't push it now. Do it at the end. <laughs> Um, I have a book. It's an ebook. Let's see if I can find the cover. Change your mind, change your life. And it's free. So go ahead at the end of this, click on that link. And it's about 89 pages. And it's got some powerful tools in it. And then there will be another page to invite you to a free breakthrough coaching session. And I promise to give you tools that will be life changing. And it's absolutely free. There's no obligation. Um, it's just more of what I'm doing. And then why am I doing this? Because I want to make a difference. Because I want to help people realize what they want. I don't know if you know this, but I was homeless once. So I've gone from homelessness to a master's degree in nursing. And to me, that's, I still don't even write fully to the master's degree. But what I'm saying is you can have whatever it is you want. And it takes clarity of thinking and telling that critical thinking to sh or critical um, gatekeeper or that critical voice to shut up and then inviting that voice of wisdom in. I'm going to take a minute and say hi. Hey, Philip and Jennifer, Alex. Hey, Ashley, Julie and uh, Salty. <laughs> anyway, I just want to give you some food for thought, right? Think about what you're saying. Your word is law. When you say something, and it puts energy into action, and your mind is listening to it. So what do you want to experience? Maybe just sit down and write and get clear about what do you want? And do you do, excuse me, do you do that? Have you ever sat down and, and thought about what do I want? What, what, would, what would, you know, 
what would I want my life to be with or like? You know, a lot of times we don't even give ourselves permission for that. Well, I'm giving you permission to discover what do you want? And then give me a call or sign up for a free coaching session and let's see what's going to take you to the next level. I want, I want to help you shake off the old negative thinking of the past and the things that limit you and emerge with a, a deeper vision of what you want and, and be more than satisfied, you know, self-actualization, you know, be fulfilled in your life anyway. So click on the um, link and you'll get a free book. You'll join my e emailing list. I promise to keep your email safe. You will get some things periodically. I hope that you enjoy. Um, and there's a little uh, video that talks in some information about the coaching that I do. Anyway, have a wonderful week. Any questions? Anybody want to type in any questions? I don't really see the questions. Oh, yes, I do. Or, so um, what do you want to talk about next week? Um, paradigms, maybe we should do paradigms, those old um, patterns, and get a little deeper into that. I think we'll do paradigms. Okay, have a wonderful week. This is Jerry Cates, your Courage and Grace Coach. Bye.